Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be a little bit behind. And the live feed here, I think, in, in Plodov, uh, problem with, with uh, reception. Uh, just welcome viewers once we maybe be watching and recording after to uh, Plodov for the Midcock Junior Holding Final of 2020. Uh, I'll just go through the Mascara team. Paddy Collin in goal, Kevin Buck full back, Brian Gould in one corner, Brian Amane in the other. David O'Carroll is centre back. Flanked by Donal O'Callaghan and Tommy Buckley, Aidan O'Maney, Michael O'Connell in midfield, Mark Nagel is centre forward, James Murphy and Joey Roach on the wings, full forward Dan O'Connell, Mark Buckley and Keon Rice. Hand you over to Petley and then over the Balnora team. Okay, the Balnora team for the 2020 Midcock Junior A Hurling final is in goal David Howard, the full back line on the right, David Fitton full back, Connor Brazen on the left, Brendan Howard. A half back line on the right, Mike Lorden, centre back James Lorden, and on the left, Neil Lorden. Midfield, we have Dara Cockery and Brian Murphy. The half forward line, Patrick Fitton, centre forward Dara Holmes, and number 12 on the left is Alan O'Shea, captain. And inside, we have Luke O'Donovan wearing number 18, Kevin Murphy, full forward, and Connor Quirk. Okay, the game is after starting. Uh, Belnor will to clear the ball there. Yeah. Good pressure from Mark Nagel. Joey Roach is on the ball from the scar. Joey Roach, a hand pass back out to Donal O'Callaghan. Donal O'Callaghan hits it. It's dropping sharp, but Daniel Cannon is on it. Dan is in. He's going for a score. A great save by the Balnor keeper. But great save there by David Howard in the Balnor goal. Cleared by Brendan Howard and out to Brian Murphy. Brian strikes down the field. Inside Cut trying to Kevin find Murphy. Kevin Murphy, the Balnor full forward. On the ball we've Connor Quirk for Balnora, back out to Alan O'Shea. Now no, Brian Murphy has it. Hand pass back to Mike Lorden, who puts a long ball into the corner. Inside to Luke O'Donovan, wearing number 18. Luke inside, turns his man onto his left. Luke is still on the ball, inside. Full out to Enescala. Ref blew for a throw ball there across the square, was looking for the scale there. Um, full forward, Kevin Murphy was on his own on the edge of the square, but uh, Ref deemed to be a throw ball instead of a hand pass, so it's a free out for the scale. Pardon Collins in goal to take the free. Pardon will go along. Ball is dropping down and about 30 yards out. Batted down by Mike Clarum in the ball now half back line on to Alan O'Shea. Alan turns, blocked down by Ines Scala. Brian Murphy for Ballinora trying to get on the ball. Brian strikes down the field towards Darrell Holmes. Michael O'Connor with the ball now. Michael O'Connor in the middle of the field. He's traveling. He throws it up to him. Miss hits it. It's dropping shot. David Howard from the Ballon Royal goal comes out to collect. He's going to go long. He does go long. David away down the field, trying to find Luke O'Donovan. Oh, fabulous catch by Ben Gould at wing back, at corner back. Cleared up the field by Aidan O'Mahony. Ball to no one. Conor Blossom comes out for Ballon Royal from full back. And a good sweeping clearance down the field. That's a free in for in the star. Ball, but it goes wide. Uh, referee, I think, had the hand up for advantage there, no advantage accrued, so it's a free for Mascara from the 65 yard line. Uh, Aidan O'Mahony will hit this free. Aiden hits it, high, looks good, yeah, umpire down for the flag, first point for the sky, point to no score. Puck out by David Hard in the ball now goal, dropping down, David Carroll bats it out. Won by Neil Lorden for Ballinora. He's six are inside to Dara Holmes. Dara's 45 yards out off his left. Strikes and wide. Mm. Puck out again now from Patrick Holland in the um, in the Scarra goal. Patrick's going to go along again. 
This ball is landing down about 30 yards out. Jerry Roach contest. It's broken away. Good high ball Mark broken by Brendan Horahan for Ballinora. The ball is on the floor at the moment. Well cleared by Brendan on to Alan O'Shea. Wins a great ball. He's playing the advantage of referee Alan. 40 yards out from goal strikes. And wide. Second wide for Ballinora. Puck by Padraig Holland. Padraig pucks it down the right hand side this time. It's going to be dropping over on James Murphy and his man. Super catch by James Murphy. Tries to get away. Plays it inside. Kill Rice is out there. Kill Rice doesn't control it to first time. Still has the ball. Walks it back out to Mark Nagel. Good defence by Ballinora. Mark Nagel is found. And uh, just outside the D. And it's a free in to uh, Inescala there. It was possibly a score on there if uh, Kieran Rice could have controlled it at the first attempt, but did well to recycle it. It's back out to Mark Nagel. Mark was fouled, deemed to be fouled, and it's a free in tennis gala. Dinius Garrison sent a forward, gets to his feet. He looks fine, he's grand. It's good to see. He had no with his free on the edge of the D. Strikes it, puts it over. Score from the scanner. Puck out again for Ballinora from David Howard. David goes long. Down the far side, the bank side of the field towards Patrick Fitton. Patrick wins it. Knocked away onto Brian Murphy. Brian off his left. Inside to Patrick Fitton. Intercepted by Mickey O'Connor. Mickey picks it up and goes on the solo and down the middle. He's looking up. He gets a shot in half hooked. Jerry Roach is out to it. Nagel, Mark Nagel is on the ball. Mark recycles it back outside. Kieran Rice. Kieran Rice strikes. Let's go and let's all the ball. Tom Pine for the score. Puck out again for Ballinora from David Howard. David goes straight down the middle to Neil Arden. Won by Inescara. Mark Nagel has the ball now. He hand passes it. Mark Buckley is on it. Ball has gone to ground. Balnor has won back. One win by one by Balnorris and our wi uh, wing back Neil Arden. Neil did well there. And he wins the free so free into Balnora. From the middle of the field. Alan O'Shea is taking the free. I'll not share to take the free here for Balnora, just inside his own 65. <laughs> Alan strikes long, and Alan scores for Balnora. Balnora first score, a great score from a long range free from Alan O'Shea. Good score there from the free puck out there by Patrick Holland and the Scala goal. Lands in middle of the field. Alnoshe on the ball again for Balanoa. Michael O'Connor gets on and he kicks it forward to Mark Buckley. Mark is trying to break the tackle. Just three or four. Yeah. Well, well, well defended. Well defended by Balanoa there. The two Lardin brothers, Mike and James, did very well there to defend. So free out to Balanoa. As in the Scala men, of course, they've been looking for the free in, but Dan Laura are happy to get the free out there. <laughs> 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 
free here being taken by David Howard. David puts it down in top of Kevin Murphy. Won by Dara Holmes. Dara goes short. It ends up going over to the, the bank side of the field to Patrick Fitton. Patrick is on the ball, puts the ball back inside to Luke O'Donovan. Luke is blocked down by Iniscara. Eden O'Malley clicks and goes long. Hits it over here to the wing, but it's nobody here on it. Ben Norman he leaves a goal over the line. Line ball. Well, now we're going for a quick line ball there, but I think a moving ball or something like that that the ref called it. Line ball now here to, to um, Ballinora. Just inside it, the run 65 being taken by Mike Larden. Mike strikes and goes long into the centre. Well blocked by James Larden at centre back. James strikes it long down the field into the left corner forward position where Luke O'Donovan is trying to win the ball inside. Brian Gould gathers it. He's been held up. Forced out Gould has done well for Ballinora. He's won a sideline. So the score here at the moment, three points to one. Probably about ten minutes gone in the game. Three points to one to Nascala. Line ball for Ballinora. Patrick fitting to take it. 21 yards out from goal. Strikes. Good ball across to this, into the centre. And knocked out for a 65 for Ballinora. The 65 has been taken by Alan O'Shea. Straight in front of the post. He scored a long way three already, so Alan is about to strike. Alan strikes and just gone wide, so a wide ball for Balanora. The score remains three points to one to Inescara. Paddy Collin and Dean Inescara goal again with the puck out. Paddy goes long, down the right hand side, aimed for James Murphy. James contests it, falls in behind, won by Ballinora. Won by Neil Arden, Neil strikes into the centre where he finds Alan O'Shea. Alan goes long, switch wing straight down towards Connor Quirk. Connor's beaten to it by an Inescara man. Ballinora worked well, on to Kevin Murphy. Kevin, Kevin wins a good ball, puts, puts it down inside, in the centre, but clear by Nascala. Colin said by David Carroll, David goes long, down top of James Murphy and his man again, won by Larden. One again by Neil, Neil Larden, a good win by Neil, straight into the middle to Brian Murphy, Brian strikes, switch wings again, trying to find Alan O'Shea, tip down to Kevin Murphy, Kevin Murphy straight and going through and ball, strike and a point for Balmora. So three points to two to Inescala and there's about 13 minutes gone. Paddy Collin with the puck out going down the left hand side this time. Faith down top of Joey Roth. Great catch by Joey. Joey hand passes it off to Aidan O'Malley. Aidan O'Malley's going. He's under 20. He still has the ball. He hand passes it out. Dan wasn't expected. He's, Dan wins it back. He's out about I don't know though. He takes a shot. That's a great score for Donald Connery. And that makes the score four points to two in favour of Inescala. David Howard takes the puck out straight down the centre. Miss by everyone. Goes in when it breaks, Kevin after. Murphy comes out for Ballinor. He breaks it out to Donny Callum. Donny, captain for today, starting out to the club. Gets it out to Dave Carroll. Miss hits it, but it finds Joey Roach. Joey Roach tries to switch the ball across the field. It's the Abbey down on top of Kieran Rice. Going high, looks up, strikes. And it's over the ball. Another score for the sky. Good passes you played there for the sky. Um, good ball across Joey Roach. Win by Kieran Rice and ends up with the score. Score now five points to two. Ballinor going to restart with a puck out from David Howard in the Ballinor goal. David strikes. 
Good long ball straight down the center. Where is one and the ball is still on the ground. Alan O'Shea trying to win it. One by Dara Cockery, then one by Brian Murphy. Brian spills it a little. Even though Molly gathers it and says, Molly gives it, pull the players, hand passes it. Mark Morgan tries to break the tackle, but he strikes it wrong. It's inside, it's over Dan's head. Dan O'Connell is running around to look at the full back for Dan Law. Dan, see, he gathers it. He's gone to ground, he's back up. He's going to, I think the left is giving him an advantage. I was very really glad that he was going to pull him for over Callum for a minute, but I think he had the hand up. Yeah, um, a free and two. Hand up for the advantage, so yeah, free and uh, two to Nascara. So I'd say probably about the 14, 15, 15 minutes, 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 maybe. Yeah. And it's five points to two in favour of Nascara. Another score for him in here from the first ball. So we've um, we've the water break, the first water break here, and uh, the score after the first water break or at the first water break is in the scale of six points, Ballinor at two points. I suppose at the first um, quarter of an hour there, they didn't know quarter being asked or given there, very committed. Yeah, look, it's, 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 it's a good tough game. Um, so uh, I think uh, both sides have had possession and have, gi have given it away and probably due to the pressure they've been put in from the opposition. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, that, that's a fair assessment of the first 15 minutes. Um, in Ascara, probably that little bit more economical with what the chances they've had. Um, they're, they're walking the short game well and, you know, Balnord have had a few chances and they've had two wides to I don't think in the scarab they're not having any wide. But at the same time look it's a good tough game and um, we're looking forward now to the second quarter again. The water break is just about to finish general so we'll we'll get going again. Yeah, definitely all to play for. The game is going to restart here now with a puck out for Balnora. Um So conditions are ideal for a game. There's no wind. Uh, it's not very warm. I suppose if there's any bit of a wind, I see the flags over at the opposite side of the field. It's blowing across the field, but I think that's it's it's very minimal to be fair. So we'll start the second quarter with David Howard going short out to Brendan Horhan from the puck out. Brendan goes long down the right hand side, looking for Kevin Murphy. Out to Alan O'Shea wins it. Alan cuts into the centre, strikes it, and puts it inside to Dara Holmes, who is fouled, and a free into Balanora. The score is six points to two in favour of Inisgara with a free into Balanora. Free here on the edge of the Darrell Holmes to take the free for Ben Laura just to the right of the post. Strikes it straight. Darrell strikes and puts it over the bar. So six points to three in favour of in, of in a scanner. Ball is going to be poked out by Padre Holland. Padre goes, this time I think it's nearly straight down the middle. Small bit to the right hand side. Jesse Murphy gets a hole to it. It breaks out. Balno onto it. But Al onto the onto the breaking ball. Strikes down the centre. Looking for Patrick Fitton. Patrick Fitton. It's fouled. And a free into Balanora on the edge of the D. So a chance for Balanora to pull another score back. Good defending there by Balanora. Half back line from that long puck out. From Padraig Holland. So the free's been taken here now by Darrell Holmes from Ballinora. Dara strikes and straight between the posts. So six points to four in favour of Inescara. Okay, 
Long ball down the left hand side. This is landing on top of Joey Roach and his man. Ball beats everybody, goes to ground. Breaking ball won by Brian Murphy from Ballinora. Mark Regan working hard to win it back from the score. He's bottled up. Donald to Aiden. Aiden goes long. Great Mark ball Buckley won by Brendan Horan. And it's killed. Brendan drives a long ball down the field. Bucky gathers it. Don't work out when he's under pressure. Delivers it long. It's uh, our third ball in all the holes out and over, over the line for a long ball here in front of the, the stand. Aidan O'Mahony with the sideline ball here in front of the stand. Cuts it well across. Jesse Murphy, great hand. He's trying to get away from his man, trying to play the ball. Does play it, is battled up. One by Ballinora. James Orton wins there. it. The ball Strikes away. the ball down the field. The ball breaks. Tommy Buckley's One again, Alan, Alan O'Shea gets on the ball. On his own 65, straight down into the into Dara Holmes inside. Dara tries to win the ball. Turns his man, one back by Inescara. Ball on the ground, nobody seems to know where it is. They're it's a throw in. Yeah, throw in. <laughs> Tara Holmes is on the ball here now for Ballinora. It's tipped away from him by an Inescara man. Back to Connor Quirk, Connor recycles back to Brian Murphy. Brian is out on the left hand side, strikes, is blocked. Went back by in Donald looks up, he goes long. Oh, down to straight down the middle straight one, straight back. by James Larden, who passes it on to Dara Cochrane, who follows well, his man. A loose ball the other went inside, Donald O'Callaghan was on it. Um, just flicked it past his man, committed. Um, Dara Cockery was committed to the tackle. He just caught Donald. Um, nothing malicious in it, no, to be fair. The ref deems it a yellow card, and it's a free to um, a free to Nescara. Uh, South side, second 65. This free is going to be taken by Padraig Holland, approximately, I suppose, to 83 or 4 yards out. Padraig lifts, he strikes, it looks good, it's long, it's still over the bar. Great score from Padraig Holland. Uh, 83 or 4 yards out there. Score 7 points to 4. David Howell from the puck out, strikes down the middle, but won by Inescara. He had no man, he intercepted the puck out. He's oh, high. Advantage of. Okay. Um, a free in. A free in. Aiden went to go past the tackle. Uh, but an oral player trying to play the ball there, just caught him a bit high. And uh, it's a free in to Inescara. Aiden lifts, strikes, and yeah, it's over. So that makes it eight points to four in favour of Inescara. Puck out by David Hard, landing down David. in the middle of the field. Broken, goes to ground. No One ground. by Dara Cockery. Dara cut straight down the middle. Keep, he's, he's staying going. Dara still running. He's on the edge of the D. Turns inside on his right. Passes inside to Patrick Fitton. Goal chance. Last by Patrick. Patrick recycles and gets a good score for Balanora. So a point for Balanora, which makes the score 8 points to 5 with 24 minutes gone. Puck out again from Inescara. He's going long, down the right. Slamming down top of Keon Rice and his man. Ball breaks, nobody there. Ballinora man. 
it breaks again in the scar and then trying to gather it there's a bit of a, a shamazel over there of the balls on the ground well won Lardin. again by Neil Lardin Neil strikes into the centre where he looks for Alan O'Shea well won by Alan Alan, Alan's going to get a second chance maybe oh. no one Jesse in James the James Murphy clicks it went to strike it quickly didn't get the distance David Howard gathers and straight down the field Run by David Carr. David looks up. He gives the ball into Dan. Dan, Dan O'Connor has it. He looks up. He's blocked. Goes well blocked by Conor Bosen. A great block there by Conor Bosen. Conor strikes down the, down the near side of the field where he finds Kevin Murphy. Kevin 65 yards out, 70 yards out. Straight inside to Luke O'Donovan. The ball breaks. The ball is still on the ground. Won by Dara Holmes for Ballinora. Dara recycles. Great ball out to Alan O'Shea. Alan strikes. And a point for Ballinora. Great work there from Alan O'Shea. Dara Holmes and a great score for Ballinora. So eight points to six in favour in the Scarra and there's probably about 26 minutes gone. Paul goes down again with the puckers, then down the mark puckers. Well defended by Brendan Horahan. Well won again by James Lord and James Hunt, James Hunt passes out to Kevin Murphy. Kevin cuts straight down the centre, strikes, goes short into Patrick Fitton and towards Darrow Holmes. Collected by David Carr. Dave goes long, down on top of Joey Roach, just beat him out, doesn't beat down. Dan is collected out here by the side one, Dan O'Connor, he leaves the ball across. Kieran Rice is in space, he collects it, he looks up, he's been pushed out by the defender, well defended by he's David Fitton, no he has it back again, he goes for the strike, that's a great score on the pressure, that's a great score on the pressure from Kieran Rice, thought the ball was gone from there, but uh, he recollected it and kept his composure, put the ball over the bar and it's 9 points to 6 to Inescara. David Howards goes short from the puck out, out to James Lord, out to, to uh, Neil Lord and Neil goes long. Straight down the middle, trying to find Dara Holmes. Dara trying to get on the ball, it breaks. Kevin Murphy has it. Kevin puts his head down, goes straight for goal, cuts inside on the right. A ball across the goal, a great save by the young Peter Scala goalkeeper. Great save. Out for a 65. Yeah, I think we have a 65 there. Padre Holland, maybe we've got a holy to that. Um, that looked dangerous there. So 65 and off for Ballinora, being taken by Alan O'Shea, about five yards left of the left hand upright, <coughs> striking down towards the road side. Alan strikes and wide. A wide ball for Ballinora, so the score remains in the Scarra 9, Ballinora 6 with 28 minutes gone. There's a substitution here now for Ballinora. Number, number 17. 17, Tim Ford is replacing number 2 for Ballinora, David Fitton. Game's going to restart. Puck out from Padraig Holland. He goes straight down the middle. It's a huge puck out. He's landing below. Well defended by James Lardner at centre back. Onto his brother Mike. Mike cuts down the centre. Oh, sorry, Dara. Dara Cockery has it. And Dara still on the ball. Dara strikes. Puts it inside towards Dara Holmes. And it's got to win a free out. Very little in that one. I think Kevin Buck was in front of his men. Went to ground. The referee deemed it a push. And it's a free out to uh, Inescala. Um, Dara Cockery causing problems for Inescala when he runs runs down through the middle there. What? My God. Jeez. Patrick Holland with a long free from his own defence. 
It's long, it's drop in the square. Well Bang defended on. again by James Lawton inside. James with sends the ball out to the left hand wing where he finds Dara Cockery. Dara sends the ball right across the field where he looks for Dara Holmes. Won by Dara Holmes. Dara's on his bike, cutting into the centre. 25 yards out from goal, Dara strikes. And oh. right across the goal. And lucky there now for Ballinora. The ball goes out wide of the post. But a great run through the centre there by Dara Cockery, well defended by James Gordon. And Muscara can count himself as lucky there again, a great run by Dara Holmes. Put it across, but he's just missed it at the far post. Puck out now here. Mark Buckley goes to gather and misses it. The ball, puck out won by Alan O'Shea. Alan hand passes it back to Brian Murphy. Brian hits the ball straight across the field. Looking for Luke O'Donovan. Go run back by Inescara. Brian Goon wins it. Hand pass out to the middle to Aiden. Aiden O'Malley. Aiden strikes it long. Down top of Joey Oates. Dan Connell. They both miss it. It's coming inside. Tim Ford. The ball order substitution comes across and gathers. Tim strikes. It's going down the centre. Down top of Dora O'Kelly. Dora gathers it. He hand passes it to Mickey Connell. Mickey goes for a strike. He hits it. It's well ball. Well ball. So we have 30 minutes gone here now, and it's still 9 points to 6 in favour of Inescara. <coughs> the game will release that with a puck out for Ballinora from David Howard. Referee felt he had to have a word there with the in this guy, kind of forward, ben David Lord, strikes back. a long ball down the field where he's looking for Kevin Murphy. One by Dora Kelly. Dora gives it to Mark Buckley. Mark does it. Ballon Buckley hard falls to Alan O'Shea. Alan strikes and gets a score. A great score for Ballinora. From Alan O'Shea from Alan 60 yards out for Ballinora. Big long puck out here again by Patrick Holland. It's down on top of James Murphy. It's the one by Mark Morgan. Mark Morgan is soloing down the right hand side. He's trying to cut inside. He takes a shot on himself. Oh, great score by Morgan. Great score by Mark Morgan. 10 points to 7 in favour of the scout. David Howard pops the ball out for Ballinora. Again, he sits it down the right hand side of the field. When he's looking for Kevin Murphy, the ball breaks. Patrick Fitton has it for Ballinora. Patrick looks up, strikes, trying to find Alan O'Shea with a good ball inside. Alan strikes a good ball into the centre, but he finds Dara Holmes. Dara strikes and straight over the bar. A great score from Alan O'Shea and Dara Holmes. Ten points there, great score there by um, Dara Holmes. Patrick with the puck out. Patrick Holland goes long. This ball is landing down on top of the centre back, centre forward. Then tries to gather it, Doug goes Bro away from him. Broken away James there Murphy by runs over it. Comes out to Mark Buckley. Mark is going to try and take on his man. He's the free was blown back. Uh the his hand up for advantage. So it's a free turn of Scala about 20 yards off. The referee moved the ball now into the centre of the D. So it's a free in tennis, Gara, and I'd say this could be the, the last action of the first half. We're going well over the time. I think they're, they're calling the goalkeeper up here to take this. Um, He's not coming up to He's not coming up to go for a point I would imagine. So uh, 
Roger Callum stands over this 20 yard free. Ballinora for the goal full. Podge goes for it. It's saved. Well, well blocked and it's saved by Ballinora. And the referee blows for half time. So at half time here in Tredov, in the Mick Junior Holding Final, it's in the Scarra 10, Ballinora 8. Yeah, um, I suppose bringing the goalie up to take that one, I don't know when there was so many in the goal, if there was only five in the goal, I would, I would have said we'll maybe go for it, but um, we're never going to get, uh, we're never going to get a ball in, or very rarely get a ball in past seven or eight fellas in the goal there, so 10.8, I suppose. Um, in the scar, probably can count themselves lucky to be two points up, I win. In my opinion, Balnora had two very good goal chances. I know Mascara had a goal chance early on, but it was a great save by David Hurd in the goal. Um, and uh, since then, the, the two goal chances, the Balnora, look, I suppose they just shaved the post, really. They were well walked in and uh, just didn't finish them. So uh, I think Mascara will be happy enough to be 10 points to 8 up. Yeah, Liam, look, a very, very entertaining game, really. I mean, 18 scores. Um, a lot of them I suppose have come from freeze fair enough but look there's no quarter given as in mid court during the Hulling final they're always very competitive but you know Balnora had, had two goal chances really I suppose and look they were unlucky maybe the goalkeeper brought off one great save and the other one just shaved the post and I suppose Balnora had a lucky escape there at the end it wasn't 11 points there in the took the chance in the stroke of half time they got a free just outside the D and they brought the goalkeeper up to take it and it was well saved by the Balnora defence but look overall it's good game of hurling and you know it's up it's anyone's game now at this stage really to be fair and you know we're looking forward to the second half yeah um, actually yeah uh, Padre Callan can be he made a good save actually for the the second chance that uh, Balnora had there um, just got his hurling and went across the goal um, so yeah I suppose all in all it's good conditions it's good enough hurling, as you say. There's a few frees, but uh, I suppose to be fair, doesn't them saw frees after. They're, they're, you know, in Escara fouling Bellinora, fellas going forward, and vice versa. When probably, um, you know, the danger is there, and they had to commit the foul to stop him from scoring. So, um, I suppose the concern for me would be that. Um, when Bellinora seemed to move the ball quicker, or, or when they, when, when is it Carkery? Derek Hockley, Car Derek Hockley yeah. there in the middle of the field ha has made two or three surging runs down through the middle and um, it has created problems for Inescara and then I think Belnora may have pulled out a player or two to make space inside for Dara, Murph, for Dara Holmes and he, he'll, he'll, he'll definitely exploit that space if he'll get the right supply of ball um, so I suppose um, in Iscara getting the scores though to be fair but having to I think having to work harder for him maybe I think the few positional changes around the field that Balnora have made as Liam has already said the positioning of Darrow Darrow Holmes inside a full forward and bringing Kevin Murphy to centre forward and like Darrow Holmes or uh, Darrow Cockery has really come into the game and he's you know playing well getting on the ball and making surging runs down the centre he's doing very well and um, you know in this gara started probably the better team look for a while that they were going to get away and put up you know a sizable lead but in t to be fair to Balnora they work very hard their half back line has been very strong you know and um, the full back line I know one of the lads inside has been substituted but that you know Dan O'Connell hasn't been the threat that probably everybody thought he was he's been well marshalled inside by Conor Brosnan and likewise in the other corner I think from a Balnora point of view, Brendan Hower in the strike, he had a ball. So, you know, all in all, it was a very even first half. And, you know, two points in it at half time, I think, you know, we're looking forward to a good second half of hurling and, you know, let the best team win. Yeah, so we'll, we'll take a break there now and we'll uh, be back for the second half. We restart here, start to the second half. Inescara John Casey seems to be on the ball after coming as a sub for Inescara at half time. It's a, it puts it out here to Jesse Murphy. James Murphy hits it into Kieran Rice. Kieran Rice is battled up. He hand passes it back to Aidan Omani. Aidan Omani strikes it high and strikes it long, but strikes it wide. Um, half time sub there for Inescara. John Casey is after replacing um, Mark Buckley. 
David Howard for Valora from the puck out down the, the far side of the field. Huge catch there by Jerry Roach. Jerry trying to get it away. Kevin Murphy gathers and is fouled by Ines Garra. Man, so a free in to Ballinora from their own 65. Alan O'Shea will come out and take this. Alan is about yeah, about 80 yards here. I suppose there's 15 yards probably between the two 65s. He's about 80 yards out. Strikes. Seems to be dropping short. David Carroll gets a hold of it. He out to Connor Quirk. Connor on the ball. Connor being tackled by the wing back for Inescara. Won again by Connor Quirk. Cuts into the centre. Out to Patrick Fitton. Patrick strikes. And a goal from Patrick Fitton to Alan So it makes the score now. After <coughs> two minutes of the second half, in in Scarra ten, Ballinora nine. Padraig Allen with the puck out, going down the left hand side of the field. Up to Joey, Joey hops over his hand. Dan Connell is trying to get on it. Well won back by Brian Murphy for Ballinora. Cuts inside, the referee playing advantage. Won by Alan O'Shea. Alan sticks it inside. He's calling back for a free for Ballinora. <coughs> This three now for Ballinora, right in the middle of the field, about 67 yards out from goal. And will be taken again by Alan O'Shea. Alan strikes. And a wide ball from Alan for Ballinora. Score remains in the Scarlet, 10 points, Ballinora 9. Well, Patrick Holland again with the puck out to restart for the Scala. Allen had plenty of distance that time, but just direction was a small bit off, it went to the left and wide. Okay, so Padre goes long, he goes down the left hand side, slamming down top of Jory Roach and his marker. The ball breaks in behind. Nobody's on it, it is on the ground. Well one here for Ballinora by Mike Lord, and Michael cut, cuts inside, inside. the ball breaks. Again, the ball on the ground, won by Dan O'Connell for Inescara. Dan recycles into the centre. Brian Murphy for Ballinora. One back for Inescara. Dan Connell has it. Well, one back there now. A good interception by Alan O'Shea. Alan strikes down here the near side of the field. On to us, Tommy. Tommy Buckley got us it. Second attempt got us it. And gets it away to Don O'Callaghan. Don O'Callaghan in the middle of the field. Hand passes it on to Mark Nagel. Mark takes the shoulder. He tries to go inside his man. He's been held. Good work there from Ballino. It's back again to Mickey O'Callaghan. Mickey Well one, Kevin Murphy has strikes long straight down the middle. Brian Gundam is man fighting for it. Tommy Buckley is on it again. Tommy looks up. He's trying to get it out. He's under pressure. Now, one by Connor Quirt. Connor strikes. From 40 yards out, strikes both to the right and wide. Score remains 10 points to 9 in favour of Inescala. Again, players can't seem to get the final pass away due to the pressure being put on by the opponents. Padre goes on. This time it's down to right. Down to James Murphy and his man. Great catch by James. He tries to go through. He's being held. Hand pass back out to Aiden. Aiden hits it. And it's a score, it's a score for the sky. Put out by Pat Robert James Murphy, hand passed out to Aiden. Aiden took a shot. Pat was going to go wide, he got inside the post. So one, change, one change in the Ballinor team, number 22, Jack Twig replaces number 18, Luke O'Donovan. Ball down the field on top of 
Oh, Dave Carroll ends up getting it. Dave hits it long, down the sideline. Kim Rice tried to get it, it went down right the sideline. A line ball now here for Ballinora on the stand side of the field. About 40 yards out from goal to be taken by Dara Cockery. Dara strikes into the centre, but into blocked by, by the centre forward for Inscala. Oh. He gets a hand pass it ahead. It's not. No. Ball ball close, but free into Inscala. That sideline ball was, was intercepted by Mark Nagel. He got it forward. Don Callan went to try and pick it up. He seemed to be knocked over as he was going to pick it up. So the ref is awarding a, line, or a, a free in Tim Ascara, um, about 30 yards out on the right hand side of the goal. The score at the moment is 11 9 to Tim Ascara. He even makes it 12 9. Ten points tonight. About seven minutes gone in the second half. Sharp puck out. Sharp puck out by David Howard. Won by Mike Claude and Mike sends a long ball down the field. Breaks outside to Kevin Murphy. Kevin Murphy strikes. And a wide ball for Balanora. Good pressure put on there by Michael O'Connell to get a half a block in on uh, Kevin Murphy. So it's a puck out again for Inescala. Padraig this time tries to pick out his man. It's intercepted by well, centre back. Well, well won by James Lord and from the puck out back to Brian Murphy. Brian sticks it into the centre to Alan O'Shea. Alan turns his man inside again. He plays it into Dara Holmes. Well won by Dara in the centre. Turns around. Dara's fouled. The referee plays the advantage and Dara puts it over the bar. Good score for Balanora. Two point game again, 12 points to 10 in favour of Inescala. Ball is picked up by Padraig, he's going down the right hand side, he's dropping on top of Jerry Roach and his marker. Nobody wins, he goes to ground, John Casey gets it. He tries to go past his man, he does. He's still solo, still has the ball, the ball goes to ground. Well, well defended by Balanora and they win a free. Well defended there by Brendan Horahan and Tim Ford. So free out to Balanora. David Howard, the goalkeeper, comes out to strike. David looks up and strikes, puts the ball into the centre, finds a loose man and Dara Holmes, or Dara Copley. Dara's in the middle of the field, puts it straight down the middle, but well defended by Inascara. Don Roy Callaghan gathers it. The ref deems it to be a throw -in. Paddy Fitton wins the ball, it breaks outside the Connacht court. Connacht court. And the referee gives a throw out to Inescara. That was, a, that was a dangerous ball of a winding over uh, Kevin Box head there. He seemed to be just getting his hand to it. Um, and it was more his position in the anything. The Ben Norman was trying to go past him. Um, and fell to the ground and it looked like as if he made contact with his with his chest I'd say that's why he got the benefit of the free but it was a dangerous ball if it, if it dropped in over his head there was a, a Ballinor forward running onto it there yeah there was good work there from the Ballinor up forwards and the ball just broke and the referee has had just saw something and has given a free to Niscara which will be taken by their goalkeeper Yeah, free out here now from the edge of his own D, Padraig Holland will hopefully l l launch this one and he does. It's a big, long, dropping ball into the square. No well defended there by James Lord and James bats it away. The ball is on the floor in front of the 21. Well hooked again by James Lord. 
and the ball goes out wide so a relief there for Balanora well defended a big long ball in from Padraig Holland landed just on the edge of the D but well defended by Balanora David Howe pucks the ball out long looking for Kevin Murphy well well won by Paddy Fittner breaking ball Paddy and Paddy wins a free so free into Balanora probably 30 yards out on the right hand side of the post James Murphy eventually got on that long ball from the free but was uh, had a shot and goal and he was hooked on the ball and out wide there the last attack from Nascara free here now for Ballinora from Dara Holmes Dara bends and strikes and puts it straight between the posts so the score now is 12 points to Nascara 11 points to Ballinora one point game again Padraig Holland Padraig Holland with the puck out. Padraig goes long down the left hand side. Down top of Joey Roach and his man. Well Doesn't gather it first well defended Comes to Michael Michael Donald Donald breaks to Michael, Michael tries to go out past his man. He gives it back to Donald. Oh. Referee gives it free against Nascara for hand passing the ball. An illegal hand pass. So David Howard is coming out to take this free. He's probably 70 yards from Dina Scarra goal. The linesman has brought it back, so he's gone back near his own goal. David Howard strikes straight down the middle, looking good, and gone straight over the bar from David Howard. Nice to score there from Man. Yeah. A, big, uh, a big score there from Balanora. So we're all square here now and there's we're probably coming to the water break. Probably coming goes long again. This is the only type of James Murphy. Well held a great catch by Dara Cockley. Dara down the wing now, Dara cuts into the centre. Recycles, strikes, inside. And a wide ball for Balanora. A great, great gathering there by Dara Cockery, cut through the centre, off his left, but unfortunately put out right for Ballinora. So the score remains 12 points each. Poker again from Padraig. Padraig Holland, he goes long, down the middle, down top of Mark Nagel and his marker. Ball goes to go. Well gathered here for Ballinora by Alan O'Shea. Alan turns and strikes, a big long ball in towards Dara Holmes. Dara puts his hand up, and it comes down to Dara, Dara back on his left, strikes, and put it over the bar. Great score from Balanoa, well one from the puck out, and a great score by Dara Holmes. That's a lead for Balanoa for the first time in the match, 13 points to 12. Padre Collin with the puck out, it's going down on top of Joey Roach again. That ball's gone to ground. Well defended again by Balanoa, coming out. Jump back by Indiscala. Out to Mickey O'Connor. Mickey O'Connor is trying to get away from his men, he does get away. He's trying to strike it, he gets it off to Mark Nagel. Nagel strikes. Oh, puts it wide. Puts it wide. And then the sky needs to score there. That ball has gone wide. Real work by John Casey to Michael O'Connor. Put Nagel in. He couldn't make it take advantage Big of it. Big long ball again from David Howard looking for Kevin Murphy. Kevin goes up. Ball breaks. Dave Carroll is on to. Dave gets away. He's trying to get away from his man. He's what well, good work by Kevin Outside. Murphy, but it breaks through and in his gara. In the man, he hits a long ball. In towards David Howard, David, David comes Howard out close. from the goal gathers and a big long ball down the middle. David Carroll gathers and he puts it down to Jesse. Jesse puts it across to Mark Nagel this time. He's outside the D. He's well been held up. Well defended by James Lawton, but Joe breaks through his gara. Joey Roach is going forward. Joey Roach is well blocked by Tim Ford. Breaks to David Howard. David clears. Back out to Inescala. But the ball goes wide. Another well, def by well defended there by the ball. No defence. So the water break. We're at the water break here now in sort of. Balanora lead 13 points to 12. Very entertaining game here now 
Um, Balnora have taken the lead for the first time, playing some very crisp bowling. Um, Dara Cockley has thundered into the game, around the middle of the field, and I think inside, Dara Holmes for Balnora has been very, very, very dangerous. Every ball that goes in, he's getting, he tries to get on it, and he's doing well. Oh yeah, very effective, to be fair. Cockley there, huge um, catch from the Mascara puck out made inwards and, and just was a poor finish from him but um, he's getting on ball um, Dara Holmes is a huge threat inside I think the heart is in the moat every time that the ball drops inside because he's a class he's a class player uh, Kevin Burke in fairness him doing um, a good job in him to try and contain him I suppose um, Kevin have a lot of it played and he'd have a good bit of experience but um, like I suppose uh, for the last two or three shots there that in the scar had on, on goal, uh, disappointing that they didn't, the players didn't have a little small bit more of composure. I suppose it's very easy to say that out here when you're sitting in the stand looking in. But um, that's what it requires. It requires a little bit of composure when you, when you get the chance. Uh, still out to play for that. Uh, I probably think this, he called the water break, I think at 15 minutes, yeah. so with 15 minutes left to play in this Junior A Hurling Championship final, uh, mid court final, it's Ballinora 13 in a scale 12. And the game is going to restart what? with a poke out from uh, Ballinora keeper David Hart. David strikes long away down the field. Down the bank inside of the field trying to find Kevin Murphy. Breaks out to Brian Murphy. Brian looks up, turns on to his left, inside to Alan O'Shea. Alan strikes, puts a long high ball inside. Post Connor Quirk. Ball breaks. It might well defend the minus Garrett. Brian Gold got his own he's fouled, he didn't get to free, but he had no man who has it. He's trying to clear it. Brian O'Man is trying to gather it. Goldie. It's a fail. to free out. It's a long free, it's dropping down on the edge of the square. Well defended Red by Ballinora, ball breaks out. John Casey's on to the trying to gather it over on the left hand side. It's held well, up well by his man. Pucks it across. Ball. James Murphy gathers it. Ah, oh, it's more or less. It's a free in. Free in. Free in. Good catch. Well gathered. Referee did have the hand up. Um, advantage came to nothing and uh, it's a free in Tinnascala. Well defended there by Ballinora but they, they didn't end up conceding a free but it looked at the end of the ball and Tinnascala attacking. Ball struck and over the bar so we could draw again. Even is striking that free for Tinnascala. Scores on level. Puck out again to David Howard for Balnora. David pucks straight down the centre where he looks for Dara Cockery. Dara, it spills from Dara, but breaks out to Brian Murphy. Brian puts a hand pass into the centre. It breaks again. And it's won again by Dara Cockery. Dara strikes. Straight down and a great score from Dara Cockery. Straight down the middle. Great work there by Dara Cockery. Puts Balnora one point in front, 14-13. Restart with Padraig Holland. Padraig Holland goes left, down the left hand side. Breaks in behind everybody. Jesse's Gavard unwanted. Here by Connor Brosnan breaks John again. Jesse is unwanted now. He looks up, he has to play it across. He does play it across. Comes to Kieran Rice. Rice Great save in the Balnora ball. It's a goal! Breaks the score! Dan O'Connor. And Dan finishes to the back of the net. A goal for Ennis Gower. Dan Collins will report to heels. Gracie took the shot. He returned and should have had him put it over the ball. Good save by Dan Howard in the ball. Dan got the rebound. Straight to the ball from the puck. Joe Lewis misses it. 
outside to the centre. On to Jack Tig for Bellanora. Jack outside to Brian Murphy. Spins from Brian Murphy. Ball is going to be it's going to be touched by the runoff. Ball training, come to ground. Ball on the ground here now. Nobody seems to win it at the minute. It's on the ground, nobody can get it. Hold it. Ruff is, Ruff is going to throw He's going to throw it again for the second time. He's sending players away. Gets him. As a result of the train, he's so in fire that Michael will have to play it. He does play it, but straight into the centre. One by Mike Todd, and Mike strikes down the right hand side of the field where he looks for Dara Holmes. The ball goes over Dara's head, but Dara gets tries to get, get back onto it. Got it by Brian O'Neill over. Brian comes out to lift. He clears it to Joey Roach. No, it's, it's Jesse Murphy gets on it. He's, he hand passes it forward. Joey Roach is trying to get there. He does get there, he gathers it. He's trying to hit it across the field. Michael O'Connell is onto it. Michael O'Connell, Michael O'Connell inside the 45. He still has it. He's been held up. He still has it under Holly. He's trying well, to fill it. He's, he's, he's hooked, he's blocked. Mark Nagel's trying to win it back. The ball is still Michael, on the ground. Mark Nagel does win it back. He's trying to clear it to someone. Here's the old James Murphy. James Murphy strikes. James Murphy hits it wide. Relief there for Balanoa. Good attack from Ian Scala just broke down and the ball goes out wide. David Howard restarts. Comes back to the near stand side of the field. Left. Finds Kevin Murphy. Kevin's going to go long, straight down to towards Dara Holmes. Dara gathers on the D, takes on the defense. Ball breaks, Dara strikes, and Dara scores. First goal from Dara Holmes. Back to a one point game. So we have 113 plays 15 points and there is about 7 minutes per call from Patrick Holland. Going behind, and goes behind everybody's head, gone to ground. Well won here by James, defended by James Larden. And well, free one by the Balnora fullback, well defended there by Conor Brasson. So it's a one point game, 113 to 15 points in favour of Ballinora and we have approximately 8 minutes. I'd say about 8, eight minutes to play roughly, yeah. Um, a bit of a collision there, Mark Nagel is down, looking for assistance. Bit of concern here now for the Inescara centre forward Matt Nagel getting assistance from the sideline. Looks to be in a bit of trouble, alright, Pat. Um, Mark could be the type of player now, he wouldn't be down unless there was something badly wrong, so looks to have twisted the knee there or something. But uh, <coughs> I'd say he'll gather himself, see if he can run it off maybe. Yeah, now we'll start here with a free from Balnor for David Howard. David strikes away down the field, down the stand side of the field. Oh. Big high ball, won by Inoscara. 
Make me as it make your color. This was us. Very well played by, great well played by Kevin Murphy. Walking back for Balanora. Puts inside. Kevin's on the side of one. Strikes. Blocked down by Inescala. The other man is in the middle of the field. He strikes it low. Is it going to be low off? Yes, it is. Shot to Lyle to the wing back. Lyle who drives it across the field. He only for Dara Holmes again. Who knocked that down in. Dara touches the ball on the floor. The referee at Georges. It was touched on the ground and a free out to Inescara. A substitution here now for Ballinora. <coughs> Number 20, Alan O'Neill is coming into the game. And he replaces number 15, Connor Quirk. So, number 22, Sorry, um, Alan O'Neill replaces Connor Quirk. Patrick Holland here now with the free. Um, about 30 yards from his own goal. He drives it long, very long. It's Lendy in the square. Nobody, it's on the ground. The well defended back. by Connor Brosnan, but blocked down. Block. Ball breaks out to Brian Murphy for Ballinora. Donny gets at it. He's trying to get at it. Must be a throw ball, surely, I would imagine. Another throw ball. This is probably our fourth or fifth throw ball, but <laughs> the determination from both sides is incredible, to be fair, and there's no quarter given. So, we have approximately, I would say, five minutes left, and Innes Garra lead on a score of 114 to 15 points. Ball thrown in, uh, but he seems to get out. He's inside in the middle of a load of players. Ball now trying to poke it up, and they do. Well won by... That man David Cockley. David Cockley's gone on a solo run. Cut straight down the middle. Strikes off his right. Straight across the field towards Jack Toig. Jack tips it into the centre. Put one there by the Inescara centre back. David Cockley's gone on a solo but he has to get rid of this one. And he does pawn it on to Joey Roach. Joey got it. Back to David Cow. David will have to go forward. He does go forward. He does play to Mark Morgan. Mark gathers it. He's trying to get away from his man. He's sold as a... He's bottled up, he strikes it. No. Let off no. for Ballinora. Let off for Ballinora. David Howard takes a quick puck out, finds Alan O'Shea. Alan is going to go along, straight down the middle, looking for Dara Holmes. Ball breaks. Gets there. Not quite. Well defended by Inescara. Ball comes out. Bucky got it along to Joey Roach, Joey gives it to Donald O'Callaghan, John Casey comes down for it, John was trying to get away from his man, he has it to solo in, oh, making the shoulder there, it stopped up, ball breaks to Joey Roach, Joey Roach back to Donald O'Callaghan, Donald leaves a long ball in, no tackle on Donald O'Callaghan, free from where the ball ends, and it's a free in tennis car, about, what, 35, 35 yards out. The only thing I could see there, Pat, was that there was possibly a late tackle on the man yes, the ball. What, I think that's what the Aiden O'Mahony lifts, strikes, and puts it over the bar. I think the Brown player is going for the flag. He is. Uh, there's a sub on now for Ballinora. Sub here for Ballinora. Number 23 for Ballinora is James Cahan. And he's replacing James Lorden, the Ballinora centre back, who is coming off injured. So number 23, James Cahan, replaces number six, James Lorden for Ballinora. Long ball out the field from the puck out from David Howard. The ball, break, the ball breaks, won, won by Inescara. Tries to clear it, goes over the line. Goes out over the line, it's a line ball for Bellinora, about um, oh, about 60 yards out from the Inescara goal. It's to be taken by, I think it's Alan O'Shea, is it? Yeah, it's been struck here by the line ball being taken by Alan O'Shea. Good strike from Alan straight into the centre, looking for Dara Holmes, find Dara Holmes, Dara strikes, puts it in. And well, in, well blocked inside, inside for the Inescara goalkeeper. To Joey Roach. 
Joey puts it across the field to Aiden O'Malley. Aiden strikes it long. It's going down on top of Dan. He has to get it. Doesn't get it first time. Gathers it the second time. He's under pressure. Passes it out to James Murphy. James hits it. And it's a score for the score. It's in the score of four points up. Six maybe three minutes to win the score. To put the four points up for maybe two, three minutes to go. Puck out from David Howard down the field. Looks for Jack Twig. Into Patrick Fitton. One, the ball on the ground. Murray who wins it again for the score. He's out to win and win the ball. Michael O'Connell, it's going to, the ball is going to go on. They're trying to pick him, it's a free. Free in, free, free in to Ballinora. We have probably two minutes of normal time left. And free in to Ballinora. The score is in a scale of 116, Ballinora 15 points. And the free here will be taken by Ballinora. Ballinora's uh, Dara Holmes. So we restart here now with, with a free for Dara Holmes. He's probably 60 yards out, straight in front of the goal, strikes. And he puts it right and right. So the score remains 116 in a scale of 15 points to Ballinora. Yeah, so we start again now with Padraig Holland. I would imagine Padraig is going to go long. And he does go long. It's going to be down the top of Jerry Roach here. In behind Cuts Brendan O'Hurrahan gathers, well won for Ballinora by Brendan. Half Brendan cleared. strike but only half cleared. On to Patrick Fitton for Ballinora in this middle of the field. Paddy puts it outside to James Gahan, who James is going to go long. A big raking shot inside from James Gahan, but goes to the right and wide. Yeah, in, in four points in it now. Uh, I make it. Uh, I'd say time is probably up, and whatever injury time is to be played. So there was a few stoppages. Great catch by Jesse Murphy. James is trying to get inside. He's been held up. He hand passes it out to Dan. Dan O'Connor has it. He's fought the eyes out from goal. He's so long towards goal. He's under force pressure. He's been fouled by the full back, surely. Well, the, the hand is up for advantage. The whistle was gone before he struck the ball, and uh, I think it's a free into the scar on the edge of the D. <laughs> Big turn around there now. Balnor had two chances of getting two scores up above, and there two wides, and in the scar come down the field. Win a free on the edge of the D, straight in front of the ball, and a very scorable chance here for in to put them f five points in front. And he strikes and puts it straight over the bar. He strikes all the way Quick puck out by Ballinora. David Howard straight down to Alan O'Neill. Alan, big long high ball. Inside, landing inside. Broken Come out. Out of Lands out to Kevin Murphy. Kevin gathers. Kevin's inside to Alan O'Shea. Alan strikes. Goes for goal. Well saved inside. And a goal. And a goal for Ballinora. Good score from Ballinora there now. So the score now is in the scale 117, Ballinora 115. Padraig Holland with the puck out. Padraig goes long. Go on top of Jerry Roach again. It goes inside. Mark Rogan goes on to. Mark tries to gather. He does gather. It's on the ground. There was a, a big load of players on the ground there. Uh, the ref is going to throw the ball in again. Okay. A throw in here now. Probably 40 yards out from goal out on this stand side here on Tudov. The ball breaks mm -hmm. out to Ballinora. Scott Black. Quite clean forward. Only a foul is running his fellow man. And it, a free one here by Innes Right in front of the stand. 65 yards out from goal. So a free there for just holding the jersey. Um, 
Yeah, no, no, and he's going to take it. One minute. And the referee has indicated that there's one minute left to play. So, um, Aiden with this free, he hits it high, he hits it long, and it's over the bar. It's another point for the score. It's for 118 minutes. David Hoffman, Alan O'Shea. The ball comes to James Murphy. James Murphy tries to go past his man. He's battened up. He kicks it forward. He's no one there. He's there in the sky, man. There. It's a point for the full game. Hopefully, Conor Bars and Conor out to Mike Lauden. Mike puts a big long raking ball. Looking for. He's walking in inside by Kevin Buck. Kevin trying to get it out. He kicks it out along the line. Comes to Mike O'Connell. Michael O'Connell is the last man to catch the ball. Bring the score to win the Loop Cup Junior Hurling Championship for 2022. The last time the Loop was 1975, 45 years ago. And a final score of him, in a score of 118, got him all 115. I think a match that could have gone anywhere, right up to the end. Um, got to be in at the right time. Got us ahead, and I'd say, um, you know, at the end of the day, goals win games, they came at the right time, Ballinor got a goal coming on the impact, but it was probably just a little bit too late. Yes, yes, I suppose, look, the, the turning point really towards the end of the game as we got two chances up above on the far side from, maybe from freeze and that to bring us maybe a small bit closer. The goal came after that when we were five points down, brought it, you know, Inniscarra had still a bit of a cushion and they finished out the stronger. So, look, following a great game to be fair, no quarter given by any of the two teams and in Ascara are the deserving winners and a, a scoreline a very good game 118 to 115 good scoreline and a very good game for those people who are lucky to be here today so, so congratulations to Inescara it is as Liam said there, it is a long time since they won the Mid-Cart Junior Hurling Championship it is our second team I know but at the same time that it's great for Hurling in their club obviously you know and I know Balnora will be disappointed but you know they, they look. They'll fight. They'll, they'll live to fight another day. And the best of luck to in the in the county championship next weekend against Liz Gould. Thanks very much, Pat. And as far as you said, yeah, it's a very long time since we since we won it. We've tried a few times with the second team. Uh, we know coming back here today, as far as that, it would be very close. It was a very close encounter over in Ballon College last year. Um, and um, again, it proved to be the case today. Up to the very end, it was in the melting pot. Uh, we had a bit of a cushion. Didn't Ballinor get the goal and you're, you're, you're worried with every ball that's going in then uh, is there another goal in it to, to snatch it but um, looked a very sporting game I don't think there was was the there, there yeah. wasn't a yellow card issue I don't no, think no. Um, to be fair to, the, to, to both teams they, they gave it their all and um, as an Inniscarra man I suppose I, I, I'm delighted to be sitting here um, seeing my team win so um, look Again, thanks to Ballinor and thanks for your good wishes. No bother, Liam. Um, Liam thank you. And uh, we'll, we'll do our best. Everything from here on in is a bonus, but yes. we'll do our best in the county. Very good. And thank you, Liam, for you know, it's just great to share this here today. It is, it is unfortunately, some people couldn't be here, but at the same time, I hope that when they look at this, they'll enjoy it. And just look, congratulations to Niscar, as they say, and thanks to Liam for you know doing his masterpiece here today. In fairness, and look, I know Ballinor, as I say, will be disappointed, but at the same time, best of luck to Niscar. Thanks, Pat. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of the Muscle Board, it is my pleasure to make the presentation here today. I first of all want to congratulate Inniscara in a magnificent victory for them in the Junior Holland Championship. I think it's the first in 45 years, but you know, uh, their first team are playing at a higher, a higher level for many, many years. I want to as well uh, pay tribute to the contribution made by Balnora, and I'm sure Balnora won't mind me saying it. They were recent winners. Uh, they were in it up to the last five minutes. They were in it up to the last minute. I suppose they missed a few scores here and there. But that's the way the thing goes. I want to um, congratulate Inniscarra and wish them the best of luck representing Moscow when they take on this goal next Saturday or Sunday. I don't exactly know where. Um, I want to thank sincerely MJ Keller's Isle for the sponsorship of the Juno Holling competition. I want to thank Kudov for making the facilities at our disposal. And I finally want to thank Brendan Barry Murphy and his team of officials for the, their officiating game. So there is an offer left for me to do only to ask uh, Gerald Keller on behalf of Keller's Isle 
they may be standing there uh, and don't you could you can take the trophy because we there's no handling as such like for the rest of us like you know, if <laughs> Um, this has been a long time coming for Nascara. 1975 was the last time won we won this cup, so it's long overdue. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank our own, my own, the own bunch of players here. They gave one hell of everything out there today. They could not have given any more, and all year they've given everything. All right, and that goes from fellas who are. We've a fellow over in London who would have been playing only he can't come back. We've a fellow goalie there who who's injured. Everyone from one to thirty that probably played throughout the year. Um, next, I'd like to thank Cudo for the pitch. Um, unreal facilities again, as always. We played all our last three matches here. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, Brendan Barry Murphy, I'd like to thank him, the referee. Um, and lastly, I'd like to thank Balinora. That was an unbelievable. Game. I've never been so sore after a game. Lads, I see ye have a couple of savage minor teams. You've a couple of Cork players coming through. Your day is going to come as well. Um, three cheers for Balinora. <laughs> and lastly, I'd like to thank Conor O'Leary, Brian Linehan, Lindley Murray, and John Connolly for all the help and everything they've done during the year. I hope I haven't missed anyone there. And that's it, so. And back to. Uh, one second, uh, one second, lads. Uh, we also have uh, the man in the master of presentation we made here today. Uh, again, I want to thank Keller's side for their contribution here. The man in the matches, eight no man in number eight. I wouldn't. Know. I want to. Th I, w I want to thank the. Pe I want to thank the people who picked them. Frank McCarthy, Michael Keane, and Eddie Warren. Brian, Brian Donovan there on behalf of Keller's Island. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Well done. Sing a song. Sing a song. Oh, Lindy. Sing a song. Lindy's uh, one of the victorious selectors. Thanks a million. Um, captain today, what a feeling. Oh, unbelievable. Um, it's just an honour there now to represent the boys. Um, we've like we've a lot of older fellas team, about seven or eight. Like everyone from Jar Burke, Pan O'Hanel, they gave an awful lot of service and gave an awful lot of hardship there. There were a lot of years where they haven't won anything. This is all for the likes of them. Alright. Did you at any stage think that it was slippy away from me or a point or two down there in the second half? Were you worried at any stage? Uh, we were probably lucky going into the last water break when the water break came. It was very important. We were down a point. The only time we'd say we were behind all game and we needed that break there and Tommy there now and a few fellas spoke and kind of Berkey spoke and just said this is it now like 15 minutes. It's a long time to get back here today and when Rice got the chance he broke it and Dan is always good for a goal. He scores a goal every game. You can just write him down for one three and he did that again probably again today from play. Excellent Donny. Um, I suppose a, a, a huge achievement for um, a second team and as you said it's a long time coming but um, we're going to enjoy this one. Yeah, I know, we, we'll enjoy it a couple of days now and look, we're playing probably the best team there next week at school and so look, we probably have no chance, sure, so, you, but you never know. Anything can happen. Anything, Anything can happen. A, anything from here is a bonus. Donny, enjoy the celebrations. You recorded after. Um, what do you make of that? Oh, a bit surreal, I suppose. Um, oh, God, you have caught me on the hop there and I didn't see this coming. I, I suppose the one thing that I'd say about this bunch is even if we didn't win today, I couldn't fault them. Everything you ask them to do, they do. And it, if there's young fellas coming up in the club, if they could just take one thing out of this bunch, is just look at the way they work for each other and grind. It might be Junior A hurling, but Junior A hurling isn't one easy either. And finals are never one easy. And these guys had to go to the pin of their collar to win it. But uh, do you know what? There's something 
in a when you know a group are going to give you everything, you kind of always have that half an inkling that you might scrape over the line when it'll get really tight. And that was the way I felt about it. And the lads saw it out to the last puck now, to be fair. And it was better they were getting actually in the last minute or two. They really snuffed out the boys. And fair play to Balnor. It was an outstanding game now. For Juno Hurling, it was a very enjoyable game to watch. Uh, heart and out stuff but great to come out on, on the right side in a yeah, final like that unbelievable um, I suppose at, at one stage I think Balnora took the lead yeah. maybe just before the last water break I think it was the first time they laid in the match yeah. and it looked it looked as if we were getting a small bit tired but as you said then I think Dan he's always good for a goal yeah. and he did a pure goal Porter's goal waited for the rebound and, and, and stuck it and it was a very important score yeah certainly was and we were kind of had that feeling like you know that it was in part at that stage with the with the game really in the melting pot that if there was to be a goal like whoever would get the first goal would pro it would probably make an awful difference and it just gave us the momentum to drive on from there and their go their goal came too late for them like we got our goal at the right time but uh, uh, it just shows panel of players is everything john casey came on um, got the ball out of the corner flag kept his head good experience left the ball across in straight into Rice's hand. Rice hit a shot, shot parried. Dan was ready. And I, I, t I did say to him at the start, your chance will come. Your chance will come. He didn't think he'd get his chance after 30 seconds. The ball felt him. And uh, probably, you know, when, you're, when it's so fresh, he had a great shot, but probably could have travelled on with it. But I, I did say to him at halftime, I said, ch your chance will come again. Just be keep trying, keep going in around the square. And he did. And he, he stuck it away when the chance came, in fairness to him. Yeah, and it was probably the important score. I think I was up in the in the bank at that stage, or up in the in the in the stand there, and I was saying to myself, whoever will get a goal will probably win the game. Yeah, and and then when Balnora's goal came, it probably came that just that little bit too late. We had a cushion of five points at that stage, and yeah. we were hoping we'd see it output, uh, and we did. Um, so, like I suppose, from in a scala point of view, and people will be watching this back after, hopefully. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to go live stream today. But it'll be a nice moment to have in, in years to come. As Donnie mentioned in his speech there, 45 years since Inniscarra won the Midcock Junior Hurling Championship. But um, by God, it was worth waiting for. Yeah, absolutely outstanding. And like, just to give a mention to all the players that have played in between, from 75 to now, I played with a lot of them. And, you know, there was a lot of good players pulled on the jersey, Junior A, Intermediate, whatever the grade. And, you know... They were they weren't rewarded, but I think everybody gets a piece of the cake today when in a, when they see in a winning, and you know having waited so long, it was well deserved. And you know this is for everybody maybe that didn't get their medal along the way. I'm one of them too, by the way. But anyway, um, just great to see the club having a bit of silverware, and we'll enjoy it tonight now. Perfect, great stuff. Go and enjoy the celebrations. You might send over um, Dan Connell to me there, would you, when you get a chance? I couldn't leave the day ago um, without having a chat with this man here on my left hand side. Jerome Callaghan, um, we were following in the scale a long time, um, winning within the Monday Junior Championship in Midcock since 1975. But I suppose for the people at home that didn't get to see it, um, it was a marvellous game, in team stuff, and it, it, I suppose the, the result really wasn't wasn't really confirmed until the final whistle. We were hanging in there oh, for time. Well, I suppose for me, you know, it brings back a lot of good memories. You know, 1975. I was on the panel in 1975, and that's um, ah, great. The club needed this. It's our first senior. It's our first senior cup now since 1975. Our adult, when your first adult competition, and I'm delighted for, for the club and for everybody, especially for the older players, the Joe Burks, the John Cases, those fellas. Yeah. The, the, those fellas deserve something, and they're great. A great time, a great service in Scarra Hurling, and it is a great day for all. It's a great day for the club, it's a great day for everyone. Good man, John. <laughs> we, 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 we'll one of the, he'll kill me now for saying this, one of the older statesmen in the, in the team. Dan, um, what kind of a game was that to play in? Uh, it was an enjoyable one, as it turned out. A hard battle. Um, I think we just hung in there, and a bit of experience at the end kind of got us through, which was great. And a few of the younger lads really stepped up, which was good to see. Yeah. Um, I suppose uh, some of the younger lads, some of them did well, some of them, and then you had the likes of John Casey, one of the older fellas, and he coming in and, and, and doing his bit. Um, there was there was a bit of a mixture, but it, it looked to be hard going out there. Yeah, it was, and they're, look, they're a good team. It's their first team. I, do, I suppose we knew we'd be under pressure with them. Um, 
we just I think we just had that little bit of experience with Aidan around the middle, you know, Donny O'Cal, Kevin Burke. We just had fellas that knew what to do at the, at the kind of crucial times in the game. We went down a point. There was no panic. And fellas really just settled. And we, we finished strong then, which was great to see. Mighty. Mighty, yeah. When you were down the point, were you worried? Uh, no, no. We missed a few. We, we, were, we were creating chances. I think fellas just got, got a bit nervous for five, ten minutes, but it settled again. I knew we were creating chances, and I knew the chances would come. And I knew the goal chance would come, and we, we got it in the end. And, uh, and it was great. Yeah. Listen, go on, enjoy the celebrations. Go with the lads, and well done. Well deserved. Oh, can we have the little girl for the camera? Who's, what's the little girl's name? Hayley. Hayley. Hayley, you'll be on camera and you'll be able to watch this at home with Mammy. Look up at the camera and wave to the camera. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Say up, Scara. Up, Scara. Up, Scara. Well done. Well done. <laughs> So look, I suppose that finishes our, our recording or, or whatever from, from Kudov. Um, great day for Inascara. Absolutely fantastic day. Um, we were, were waiting a long time to win it. Uh, and we are today by two or three points and delighted with the win. So for the people that will be watching it back after, um, Scara, up Scara. Okay.